How's it going everyone? I want to give a really quick overview of how you can deploy a Next application on AWS Amplify. So I'm going to go ahead and just go to the Next docs and run NPX Create Next App Latest. And I'll just say example deploy here and that should actually set up a project and create a folder called example deploy. Um, what I like to use TypeScript, I'll go ahead and say yes, ESLint, sure. Use a source directory, sure. What I want the app experimental, no. Uh, sure, I'll use that, that's fine. So this should set up my next project. And while that's getting set up, I'm actually gonna go over to GitHub and we're gonna create a repo because we need to deploy automatically every time we do changes. So let's go to my account over here. I will make a new repo. So let's go to repositories and I will do a, a next, what did I call this thing? Example deploy. I'll say example deploy here. Go ahead and create the repository. There we have it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna CD into this directory that we just created. And I wanna go ahead and open this up. And just make sure before we try to actually like commit this or deploy it, I'm gonna make sure I can build it. I like to do this before I actually try to like get stuff to build in CI CD because like it'll often not build properly locally and I'll save myself some time. So everything was built fine. And uh, let's also just run it and make sure that we can view the default scaffold project. Then it looks like everything is good. We got a next 13 app ready to go. So the next step is I want to make this directory that we just created and I want to push it to that remote repo that I created, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say git init. And then I'm going to say git remote add origin. And I'm going to paste in that URL there. So since I just added a remote, I can't really pull yet. I need to make sure I set this upstream. Um, so let's just go ahead and do this git branch set upstream origin slash main to main. Make sure I do a git pull. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and push. <clears throat> to be honest, I don't even know what I just did. I just added a remote and I pushed, added, committed. I don't know, but it's there now. If you look here, it's on my git repo. So I apologize for this tutorial being our garbage. But the point is, if you have a repo that's set up already, you can kind of use it. Uh, you can set Amplify to automatically deploy from it. So, let's, so I'm going to go to AWS Amplify. And these are some of the applications I currently have deployed using it. I'm going to go ahead and go to new app here. I'm going to say host a web app. I'm going to click a GitHub here and click continue. And now I'm going to point this to my repo that I just created called example deploy here. Um, we will use the main branch. That's fine. I'll go ahead and click next. Uh, you have the ability to kind of configure the build and do stuff the way you need it to be done. In this case, we don't want to modify anything. I think it's fine the way it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and say next, and then I'll say save and deploy. And if you actually, before you deploy, if you look, it knows that we're using Next.js. So Amplify will look at your code base and see like, okay, what framework are you using? In our case, next. And under the hood, it's going to deploy it in such a way that kind of gives you the Lambda computations. Uh, the Lambda API endpoints, and then also it's going to deploy your code to CloudFront so you have that like distributed CDN uh, deployment. Let's just go ahead and say save and deploy. And by the way, this is the same way I deploy my icon generator app. If you guys have been following along with my application, this is actually deployed using Amplify as well. So what I'm showing you in this tutorial is basically the exact same way I did it, although I did have to change a little bit with the environment variables. The way Amplify is set up, the environment variables don't always like transfer over properly. So at this point, it will provision some stuff. If you can kind of click through this and, you know, inspect what it's doing. I don't really care about watching that stuff. So let's just go ahead and come back when this is fully done building and deploying. Uh, just for some sake of sharing information, once this is fully deployed, you can actually go and set up a custom domain. If you go to the domain management, you can go here and there's like an add domain button. And you can type in the domain that you want for your application and click configure domain. And that'll give you like some C, and C names that you need to add to your domain for provider, your DNS configuration for your domain. And that'll basically automatically point your domain to your deployed application. So the cool thing about this is also when I push changes to my main branch, this will automatically kick off another build and deploy. So it's the same as like most of these other um, services, but it's actually super cheap. Um, I think I've had my application deployed for like a week now and people have actually kind of gone through and used this. I have been charged nothing. Um, if I go to my billing dashboard, I'll show you how much I've been charged for Amplify over the past week. So looking at my billing breakdown, Amplify has charged me a total of zero cents. And I don't know if that's because I'm on free tier or something, but 
I think they only charge you for the usage and the, the amount of usage I have on Amplify is very, very small. Um, the high, highest charge I have is my S3 storage of my files and stuff. And then my second largest is my email service. Now I will say the deployment is a little bit slower than something like Vercel. You get what you pay for, right? We're paying almost nothing to have our applications deployed to um, Amplify. And the deployments take a little bit longer to build and provision and stuff. But now that it's done deploying, you can actually click on your domain and we should see our application fully deployed on an environment. So pretty cool. And also all the API endpoints are deployed to Lambdas, I believe. Uh, Amplify kind of obscures how they're deploying your stuff behind the scenes. Like, I don't know if they're using, like, you can't really inspect, like, the Lambdas and, like, what memory size they have and what is their actual, like, execution time limits. If there is a way to do that and you know, leave a comment so I can kind of, like, figure that out. But overall, you just have, like, nice ways to monitor your application once it's been deployed. So, for example, you go to monitoring you go to your compute logs, you can dive into your CloudWatch logs and see your production logs as well. That's something I really like about Amplify. Other services don't even provide you like logs for your API for some reason. Um, you have to use like third-party services. But Amplify has CloudWatch under the hood and you can actually see your lambdas as they run. And you can get the console logs and you can use like log insights to kind of dive through all your logs and learn more about them. This is, a, again, another powerful tool that you got to kind of understand how to use, but I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, that's what I like to use for deployment applications. If you guys want to check it out as well, uh, feel free to. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, I have a Discord if you want to join to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers. And I also have a newsletter that you're welcome to subscribe to. I do plan to create a course where I show you how I built a similar application to this AI icon generator tool. So if you're interested in buying a course, in the future that kind of walks you through how to set this up with Stripe, AWS, S3, uh, be sure to subscribe so you can kind of get that notification. Anyway, have a good day and happy coding.